In 2012, I met an extraordinary leader named Chief Mumena in Zambia. He took a risk to challenge his tribe's traditions in order to protect his people from AIDS. My name is uh, Chief Mumena the 11th. The Mumena Kingdom is run by the, the Lion Clan, and I'm proud to be a lion. I'm the people's representative their guide, or the custodian of their custom and culture. But there's a heavy cloud on the lives of the people. And this heavy cloud was the scourge of HIV and AIDS. You can't ignore it anymore. HIV has changed the game plan for family survival, family livelihoods. One day, thinking about all these things and still wondering what we'll do, my son, Benjamin, came through to me and he said, Dad, I want to go for voluntary medical male circumcision. And I said, why on earth would you do that? And Benjamin says, look, Dad, this is one intervention that would uh, be able to save my life in this time of HIV and AIDS. It would give me up to 60% protection. He converted me and I went ahead and did my procedure six months after his, and I did it at age 47. I think my biggest problem considering this circumcision was that it's not part and parcel of my culture. It was taboo to even talk about circumcision in my family. So I reached out to my elders and I told them what had gone on and why I'd done the procedure and how that a man needed to walk with his head high and live longer in this life where everybody is threatened with HIV and AIDS. They asked a few questions back and forth. And then one of the elders said, if it's good enough for our chief, then it's good enough for us. I was shocked. And the next moment, it became our new culture. The more men were coming on board to say, we need to go this route. Women came on board encouraging their husbands to go forth and have the procedure done. They took their sons to the health center. The decision that my son did to challenge his own father on custom and culture and male circumcision, the rest is now history. <laughs>